it's Tanika and I am back with more, yes more, of our homeschool curriculum roundup. Um, I am trying my best to keep these videos as short as I can. I'm not succeeding in some areas. But I say that to say, uh, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button and that way you get a notification and these will show up quicker in your feed and we can jump right on into it. Today we are talking civics and economics, which I know like the, the name civics and economics, those are like high school <laughs> level names. And so I don't want you to like run away because you have like a five-year-old and a six-year-old. Um, we're gonna bring civics and economics down to their level. Um, I firmly believe with any subject, you can make it age appropriate and create a really good foundation to grow upon for any subject. We do it in literacy and language arts. We do it in math. We do it in science. You can do it in other subjects too. Um, and so for us this year, uh, when my husband and I did our parent teacher conference, <laughs> um, we talked about things that like we wanted them to learn and to start learning. And on both of our hearts was kind of like entrepreneurship, um, cycles of money, what things cost, like try to get them into that frame of mind. And that's the economics portion. The civics portion is as I am teaching them about black history and allyship and voting and all of these things, these led to more questions like, well, why are those voters disenfranchised? Like, what, like, why aren't they able to get access to this? Like, <laughs> and so I realized, okay, let's take a step back and let's learn about the branches of government. You know, we're watching the inauguration and they're like, well, are they a president too? No, that is a Supreme Court judge. Well, what's the difference between the judge and the, you know, I'm like, okay, let's bring it back just a little bit um, and teach them, you know, the three branches of government, how a law is made. I am probably way too excited to show them the school of rock. I'm just a bill. Um, so through business government, how a law is made, how laws um, impact certain communities, what we can do, political parties, because um, we've told our kids why we vote and who we vote for. It, since I've been pregnant, um, I've taken my children to the polls with me because my dad did that with me. Like there's no better way to learn than to see and to do and I have never missed an opportunity to vote and I you know want my kids to know the same um so let's go into a little bit of practice of how we're gonna learn that again I'm gonna do my best to keep this short y'all I'm just gonna ask for your grace and forgiveness in the event that I don't okay all right so economics our goal is to make this as fun and interactive and, and oh gosh, insightful and playful as possible. Um, I know for me, when I think economics, I think a fat textbook, an oversized calculator, and fumes coming out of my ears. Okay, that's <laughs> that's the vision I have when I think about economics. I don't want my kids to have that vision. So we did buy them a pretend uh, market stand, and what we plan to do that with that is take their favorite things. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody's cutting their grass. It's not us. So if you hear that, my apologies. Um, take your th favorite things like pizza ice cream, coffee. No, they've never had coffee, but apparently they really love it. Um, hot chocolate. Um, don't take these things. Farmer's markets, because they love fruit, all this stuff. And then work that into 
principles that we've learned and new principles. So, um, in, you know, we're going to be learning terms, inventory, overhead, production, um, to get to, you know, why things cost. And I also hope when I'm teaching them about economics is to value things they already have. Um, to put this neatly, my children are very loved by grandparents and friends and aunties and godparents and get a lot of things like cash and gift cards. And so, and because they're also kids, they have, you know, a serious case of the, oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. <laughs> you know? Um, and are they privileged? In a lot of areas, most certainly. And so I think it's also important for me to teach them, like, this is how much something costs and why. But just because you have this money doesn't mean you need to go out and treat this badly and you can get another one. You know, I want to teach them the value of things that maybe isn't necessarily tied with money. Um, things like investing and saving and giving, um, I think, are kind of basic that we can instruct now and then, like I was saying, get that solid foundation and we'll build upon that foundation for a few years and then go up from there. Um, especially when they start seeing things that like my husband and I are doing, like why we are saving this way, why we are investing in that, um, and they can be a part of it and understand it. Um, so, we will be using books for that. I have, they aren't all in yet. Um, and of course I'll be getting more from the library. Um, and one is actually in the car because my kids are reading it. But the two I have right now is Emma's for Money and Elementary Economics. And again, we'll be using these books for years to come because if you look at this one, it's an alphabetical book, but it's not just like a one word description, okay? It breaks down all the things that money is, okay? And it's for needs versus wants. Like these are, I really believe, principles my kids can learn. We might not even get through that entire book next year. I might have to build some more upon it, and that is okay. Um, I know another book I have coming is like Economics in Infographics. Um, and so in this book, you kind of are able like to start your own business. You're learning how much things cost. You uh, are at the toy store. You have this amount of money. You can spend what? If this costs this amount, amount and they give you this, what is the change you give them? What is your profit from this? Like, And again, we might get through a couple pages of this. Um, a lot of this is going to be play-based um, and incentivized that way and through books um, and then reiterating these terms that we are learning. Okay, so that's economics. Going back over to civics. I know I'm flip-flopping. Stay with me. Okay, so like I said, all the things that were important for me to learn in civics. And again, when I think civics, I think a dusty high school classroom with the chalkboard that hasn't been properly washed and um, a teacher that smells of coffee. That That is what I think when I think civics. I don't want my children to have that image. So we'll be doing a lot, oh, a whole lot through books in this one. So when we learn about the you know, three branches of government, going to be learning about people in those branches. And these are from the library. I am just uh, previewing them to see if I want to add them to my library, which if y'all know how I love books, I probably am. So again, we'll be learning about them when we talk about things like voting and why. Like this is a great book for children to learn about how the electoral college works. Um, speaking of children, you can probably hear them. Um, we talk about certain laws and in immigration and things like that. Um, 
there's another grace book here. Love that. Um, sorry. If I ran for president, um, talking about here, um, Native Americans, um, cause there are laws that disenfranchise Native Americans and this is, you know, their land. We're talking about immigration. So we'll be doing so much through books and, um, just like hands on activities. Um, I might have them start, you know, voting on different things we'll have for snack just to like get in that frame of mind. It'll be very basic. I'm um, in limited, but again, I'm not here to like teach them the spit facts and no definitions. I'm here to give them a great foundation um, for all of us to grow from. Um, so that is civics and economics for us in our homeschool. I truly hope that that was not too crazy. If it was, please, please, please comment, ask me questions. Um, I will have all of these references, all the books we're using, how I plan to use it. If I have any printable links for our um, shops or anything like that, it will be in the blog post listed below. Um, and that's because it's just so many links. Like the description box would be jam-packed if I put all the links in there. So it'll be in the blog post um, below. So uh, you can follow me on social media as well to see this in practice and send me messages there. Talk to you soon. Bye.